Do you like games? How about games that contain giant screeching bugmen who harbor an unreal amount of hate towards humanity? Yes? Excellent. Then let's dive into this thing. How's it going guys? It's Roanoke Gaming, back with another video over the traits of enemies in your favorite games. Today we'll be going over the Locust Medic and Priest known as the Cassus. So get ready for a harsh lesson in religion, because these priests aren't the praying type. The Cantus is one of the three primary races of the Locusts. They are taller and leaner than the drones, and about the same height as a boomer. A typical Cantus is a male who stands at about 7 feet tall, towering over humans they are quite the opponent to combat. The Cantus is really going to serve more of a support role than a frontline combat one. They can revive down locusts in the area by producing a ear-splitting screech, which will immediately get them up and restore the health of the down drone. Or Grenadier, or really anybody that falls down. But this screech also doubles as a battle cry and will embolden the locust as well. Kansas do not roll in really with any amount of armor that is going to be worthwhile. A well-placed headshot can immediately decapitate them, at least in Gears of War 2. As the war raged with the Lampet and humanity sunk Jacinto, humans became more of a secondary enemy. This allowed the Locusts to turn most of their attention towards the Lampet issue. The Locusts began armoring their priests in thick, heavy metal armor. This spiked metal armor made them a formidable enemy and made it near impossible to bring them down by traditional means. The only way to take them down was to aim for the face region and basically try to put as many bullets in them as possible. In contrast with the guys rolling in heavies, your standard Cantus is going to be lightly armored and not ready for a full frontal confrontation. This is not to say that they are all like this, as Scourge we can see, and there will be a video later on about Scourge himself, uh, he pretty much can hold his own against two people trying to chainsaw him to death. So Scourge is an absolutely devastating opponent, especially when he cuts a centaur in half. Speaking of absolutely deadly, this brings us into our next portion. Like most locusts, albeit kind of leaner, Acanthus is still exceedingly powerful. Whether it be physical power or manipulation of those around it, Acanthus can not only influence the locusts, but their screech can disorient humans and control animals. The Cantus subspecies are also very intelligent and serve a leadership role, much like the Theron suit. They are put in charge of groups of drones to lead attacks against humans. During the Second Battle of Jelaine, a Cantus was able to set up an ambush that almost resulted in the death of Marcus Phoenix. Luckily, while trying to revive a downed drone that was injured, Damon Baird and Alex Brand were able to kill it. During the Lambent War, Cantus are typically going to be split into two groups those that remain loyal to the Queen, and those that went savage. The latter is considered the weaker of the two, however. Those loyal to the Queen were equipped with heavy armor, as mentioned previously, and those that went savage stuck to a more leather attire. A Cantus is usually going to carry a Gorgon pistol that shoots in bursts, and this pistol is much more powerful than a snub pistol, but not as much as a Boltock. They will also bring ink grenades, which infect the air with a thick black ink that causes damage if inhaled, or if you just stand it in general. Upon killing a Cantus, anything short of a headshot, the body will explode in a cloud of ink causing further damage to others in the area. A chainsaw is also effective at preventing the ink poisoning, or completely shredding them with a silverback minigun never hurt either. And to tie in a little bit of real world lore, the name Cantus comes from Latin, which translates to sing. The Cantus themselves in battle will screech at fallen comrades, which has been translated into rise. It is not known, however, if all Cantus say this, as we can't really tell because they do just a lot of screeching. Alright guys, I know this is a bit of a shorter video, but the next one will be covering the Let Golo, or Hunters from Halo. Please like and sub as I am up to 31 and almost 1000 views, which is absolutely phenomenal and I really do appreciate it. You can also follow me on Twitter, at Roanoke Gaming, if you want to watch me tweet out useless information about nonsense. So if that's your thing, I got you covered. Thanks for watching, guys.